I don't even know the words for it. I, I would just, that would be amazing. Sign me up. I'll, I'll go colonize it right now. <laughs> One of my uh, earliest and longest standing objectives has been to uh, settle Mars. I like to be the first fish to get out from the water. I want to be at the forefront of human evolution. You want the first person to step on Mars to be a woman. Well, of course, the first <laughs> person to step on Mars should be a woman. There's no way we're going to be able to colonize a planet without women. <laughs> Mars needs women. Mars needs women. It's a gag. It's a prank. All the scientific research done shows that the more diverse your team is, the better it performs. It's our turn. It's our, it's turn. our turn. It's our turn. Space and Science Center proudly presents Dance of the Planets, performed by the 10 a.m. Tykes class. Are we doing enough now to prepare our young women to go to places like Mars? What do you think you need to learn or study or figure out between now and when you go to Mars? Everything. There are so many people on Earth working to get people into space and there, there are careers there and there are opportunities there for young people, for young women in particular. It's not just engineering, it's not just physics, it's not just astrophysics. Um, there's a wealth of subjects and topics, classes um, that anyone can take um, to help facilitate a career in space exploration. Right now there's so much judgment on Earth based on your size, based on the color of your skin, based on your wealth based on um, your sex. And I just hope that when we get to Mars, none of those things will matter. Four, three, two, one. My next life, I will jump on a ship with Elon Musk and go to Mars in a heartbeat. <laughs> Zero and liftoff.